Hi all. Back in episode 42 of Tell Your Tale, ponies from across Equestria congregated around a large Bridalwood Forest clearing for the Grand Unity fireworks display. While a big success, the event was at least somewhat marred by the brief disappearance of two young fillies who had gotten lost along the way, the latter fortunately being recovered with the help of the attendees' magical capabilities. In the grand scheme of things, this was pretty much a non-event. Yet, at the time, the locals were genuinely concerned the two might never be seen again. Oh no! The Pipsqueaks! They're missing! Missing? <gasps> oh no! Poor oh, Pipsqueaks! These woods will eat them alive. These woods will eat them alive. That is a pretty interesting choice of words. Izzy herself further clarifies that Bridalwood Forest is gigantic, thus even finding the two missing ponies is extremely difficult. This is made worse by the dense undergrowth and lack of any obvious path. In this case, the quick happy ending resulted directly from the ability of these ponies to use magic. As such, back when ponies had no magic, any search and rescue attempts would have been extremely difficult. The phrase eaten by or swallowed by the forest is commonly used to describe getting lost in, engulfed by, or even vanishing into a woodland setting. To hear Bridalwood described that way therefore implies a somewhat unfortunate history. The size and density of the forest and a prior lack of magic aren't even the only factors for why ponies might so easily disappear. Based on the one visual we get of the Invisibubble spell, the wall of said spell was likely close to, if not intersecting with, Bridalwood Forest. Any pony who accidentally crossed through this spell would have found it difficult to retrace their steps and may have gone missing as a result. One such possible candidate is the unicorn character of Misty, who was found lost by Opaline as a young filly. This latter topic was partially inspired by a recent United Equestrians theory discussion and is somewhat controversial given the possible implication that Misty may have somehow travelled for miles as a filly while lost. Though given that exact same thing happens in real life, it doesn't personally bother me as much. Another possible cause for local disappearances is the prior conflict between the Pegasi of Zephyr Heights and the Forest Unicorns. Before the return of both friendship and magic to Equestria, a flightless Pegasus entering those woods risked inciting a fight amidst unfamiliar terrain. Things get stranger when you factor in something else we've talked about previously. According to Izzy in the official G5 podcast, the last time she encountered a ghost, she ended up, quote, lost in an energy puzzle for a whole day. Indeed, the in-universe existence of ghosts was later confirmed in episodes 38 and 51 of Tell Your Tale. While we still do not know what an energy puzzle is, we do know that a pony can actually find themselves lost within one due to an interaction with ghosts. Given the large number of ghosts around Bridalwood, it's hard not to wonder if other ponies besides Izzy have also found themselves lost in one of these energy puzzles without managing to escape. For whatever reason, Bridalwood has a clear reputation of eating ponies alive. Thanks to the return of magic, it's likely there'll be fewer missing ponies in the future, but it is still interesting to think about. Honestly, a haunted forest where ponies disappear would make for a pretty decent fanfic. So what do you think? Is there an explanation we hadn't thought of? Let us know what you think, and thank you for watching.